In case you haven't noticed, the price of virtually everything has been going up fast. Whether it's groceries, rent, cars, and of course, watches, identifying definitive points of value is getting tougher than ever in 2023. But as given as death itself, is the impossible to beat pricing of Casio watches. Today, we look at arguably one of their best with the $30 Casio World Timer, a watch with legitimate World Timer functionality and worth every penny. So for many watch enthusiasts, Casio can be a bit of a complicated brand. Serving as the brand's crown jewel, which has spun off to be its own brand now, is the legendary G-Shock, which dates back to 1983 and reigns as one of the most popular overall watch collections in the world. However, Casio's history with digital timekeeping actually dates back to the mid 1970s before the advent of the G-Shock. And starting with a watch called the Casiotron that laid the groundwork for Casio's current collection of shockingly attainable digital watches. In a previous video from a few years back, we looked at the $25 A168, the least expensive watch that is actually worth buying thanks to its unique blend of retro aesthetics and impressive capabilities that can be had for around the same price as 24 eggs from the grocery store in 2023. In this video, we're prepared to argue that if you have an extra five bucks laying around, it might be worth splurging on this Casio World Timer that can be had for around $30 and offers a set of specifications that frankly is insane for the price. In this video, we look closer at the most basic Casio World Timer, the AE1200 WH1A. So while there are a number of aspects of this watch that make it impressive in value, perhaps the single most surprising attribute is the inclusion of a fully functional world timer made possible by the module 3299. To get a complete idea of how this watch works and all of the things it can do, let's briefly run through its functions. Starting from the home timekeeping screen that will also indicate the day and date above the numeric digital display, you can cycle through the different modes by pressing the pusher on the lower left side of the case. And then starting from the home screen, the other modes and complications on offer are the world time, an alarm, a countdown timer, and a stopwatch. Paired with a graphical display of the world in the upper right corner of the dial, the World Timer, which is the star of the show, is capable of tracking no less than 31 time zones indicated by the 48 three-letter city codes, as well as Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC. As you cycle through the time zones using the lower right-hand button, the shaded portion of the map on the upper right also changes, which is not only useful in terms of global orientation, but also kind of fun in the process. When you're in home time, you can also use the lower right button to advance through the other three local time zones that can be set to more easily track three additional time zones without jumping all the way into world time mode and needing to cycle through all the time zones just to find what you are looking for. The upper left button is used for setting and the upper right button provides a useful backlight feature that lights up with a bright orange shade, although maybe not its best feature when it comes to this backlight. At the upper left, a small circular sub-register uses LCD hands to display the home time zone while also allowing for tracking the passing of the seconds. At the end of the day, this is a very inexpensive course digital watch, yet still the added utility and fun provided by the world time functionality in the graphic display separates this watch from much of what else is out there, especially at this price point. If there was one central drawback to the otherwise excellent A168, which I have on my wrist, it could be that it has a jarringly small wearing experience provided by that 35.3 millimeter case and then a 38.5 millimeter lug to lug. In comparison, this Casio World Timer feels more in keeping with the modern standards with wearing dimensions. Measuring at 39 and a half millimeters in width, not including those buttons, 12.6 millimeters thick, and around 45 millimeters lug to lug. Given the more rectangular case format, I'd actually argue this watch wears slightly larger than its listed width might suggest, feeling like an equivalent of a traditional round 40 millimeters. Being made of plastic, this Casio is also extremely light, making this watch all but imperceptible once it's strapped onto the wrist. Set between 18 millimeter lugs, the World Timer comes with a resin strap with a plastic buckle that is, as you might imagine, not great, but there are only slightly more expensive versions of this watch that offer a serviceable yet still not good stainless steel bracelet. Given the case material, finishing isn't really a conversation we will need to have, but we do have a number of angles complementing the rectangular case profile. 
The pushers, which we should probably call buttons in this instance, also operate well in practice while being made of polished steel. Somewhat surprisingly, and in contrast to the 30 meters of water resistance offered by the A168 and many other super inexpensive Casio models, the World Timer offers up an impressive 100 meters of water resistance, meaning this is an inexpensive travel watch you can also take with you on at least some aquatic adventures, though I'm not prepared to argue that this should be your next diving World Timer and can replace your G-Shock. So now with some closing thoughts on the Casio World Timer. Is this a perfect watch? No, and I don't think there really is a such thing. The backlight on this piece could be better, the strap and the bracelets are really not good, and ultimately the watch does feel cheap. But here's the good news. The watch is cheap, and in more ways than not, is worth every penny. You're talking real-time functionality that has more depth than luxury players. Speaking of depth, 100 meters of water resistance, and a retro cool design. Yet most importantly, it reminds us that the old adage saying that you don't need to spend a lot of money to have fun is perhaps less cliche than we oftentimes think. But all right, guys, that's my quick take on the Casio World Timer. I know this is a watch that's been covered to death by many people. I've had this watch for a long time and it kind of was a head scratcher that I haven't covered it yet. So wanted to do so. And a sea of watches out there, I mean, this is crazy that you can get this for $30. And it goes to show that you're still gonna have fun on a budget. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon, really would appreciate that. Also check out teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.